It's been a bit of a trickier run um, over the last three races since you got those two podiums in a row. Yep. All for different reasons. How are you feeling coming into Vegas with a car that you know is competitive? Yeah, I mean, confident coming into this weekend. I think, uh, yeah, the last few weekends have been tricky for differing reasons. But I think uh, the, the pace, especially over one lap, has, has always actually been quite good. It's just putting it together at the right time and, and just being consistent has been sort of the, the struggle. So. Uh, well, struggle over one lap, incidents with other people's been the, incident, the, the trouble in the races, so hopefully I can stay out of that uh, this time round. But yeah, new track for everyone, which levels the playing field a little bit, um, which is, is nice after three brand new circuits for me. So um, yeah, hopefully we can be strong. Um, it's going to be a, a unique circuit in terms of long straights, slow corners, uh, cooler temperatures. So. Yeah, a lot of things to, to try and get right. Have you start? Have you really felt that when you've gone to a new circuit that you are at that massive disadvantage to everyone else? Um, I wouldn't say massive. It, you know, of course, having the extra experience is always nice, but um, I, I just don't like to use it as an excuse. Yeah, course, um, yeah. You know, I think especially places like Austin and uh, and Brazil, where we, it was a sprint weekend, uh, definitely didn't make life easy, and I think. You know, I think that kind of ties into the, my comment of the pace was good, just yeah. getting it all together at the right time was, was the difficult part. And, you know, Austin being extremely bumpy, you know, you hit a bump slightly wrong, it, it ended badly. Brazil, we had a zombie apocalypse at the end of Q3, which didn't help things. So, um, yeah, you know, there's always kind of been things that have challenged the consistency. And also for myself, you know, it's been something, it's not been my best strength in the last couple of weekends. So. Um, yeah, having a, a, a new slate for everyone, a clean slate for everyone, and uh, three practice sessions this weekend is going to be nice. In all your Formula One career, have you ever experienced a build-up to a Grand Prix or the kind of expectations and hype there's been for, for this race here in Vegas? No, I haven't. It's been yeah, quite spectacular. Um, lots of hype, which is um, for a reason. It's a pretty, pretty unique place for a Grand Prix. and. Uh, I think they've done a great job. I mean, everything here looks great and everything is ready. Uh, and, and also in your career, did you ever think you would be releasing a naked calendar? No, I would have never thought of that. But it was just meant to be, meant to happen. And it's uh, all for charity. That is the reason for it. And um, so I'm doing it for November and actually so far I've been able to raise about 50,000. Wow. And, and counting. So that's thanks to people, you know, buying my butt calendar. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. Well, well done. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, listen, to the matter in hand, the race this weekend, the track looks super fast. How do you think it will be to drive? How do you think it will be to race? Uh, my biggest question mark is the grip level. Like, that's so hard to predict from, you know, simulator driving that we did. You're just really guessing how much there's grip, and that's going to obviously affect the setup. But layout itself, it's going to be good for racing. I think we're going to see exciting Grand Prix, um, hopefully lots of overtaking and action. That's my prediction.